Well, hi, everybody, and good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. I hope you enjoyed it today or yesterday because it is changing out there. Most of us are now behind a cold front, which is situated in southeast Nebraska, and the winds are starting to crank up out there. It's only going to go downhill as the winds continue to pick up through the day today. Now, clouds will eventually be on the increase as well, although we're not expecting precipitation other than maybe a few sprinkles out there. But we could be, at least for a time, overcast later on today. It'll be blustery. Temperatures initially are climbing, but will drop later in the afternoon. Winds stay blustery tonight. Some clouds clear out. I'm going to call it partly cloudy later on tonight. And then uh, temperature-wise, it's going to be a little cold out there tomorrow morning, and especially when you factor in winds. Wind chills could be down in the teens out there to start things off on your Friday. Tomorrow, the coldest highs we've seen so far this fall season as temperatures struggle to warm and it still remains blustery. We may sneak in a few flurries along the Missouri River and a few extra clouds in the eastern quarter of the state, but most of us will see lots of sunshine, just not going to be a pleasant day out there for your Friday. So let's take a look first off at future temperatures. Look how temperatures climb initially behind our front. We could climb into the 50s and lower 60s, but then eventually that colder air is going to be drawn in due to those strong north and northwest winds. So basically what is happening this morning, it was a warm day yesterday. Overnight then you lose that heat. It radiates into the atmosphere. It goes up basically. Well, winds can push that air back down to the surface and we get those strong winds that are happening. That It's actually warming up out there even behind a front. So temperatures are rising slowly this morning. Eventually, though, there's a lot of cold air to the northwest that's going to be drawn in, and that's going to move in this afternoon. So look how temperatures fall. By 5 o'clock, we're in the upper 40s in the Tri-Cities, lower 50s to the southeast. It could be closer to 40 off towards the northwest. That cold air filters in tonight. The winds stay blustery, so there will be a wind chill out there. We're talking lows down in the 20s to lower 30s for most of us. Now, tomorrow, in fact, this model here, I don't think it's going cold enough out west. I could see temperatures closer to 20 out in places like North Platte. Now, tomorrow, temperatures will struggle upper 30s, lower 40s for highs, and it will remain blustery. Those winds 15 to 30 miles per hour are going to make it feel colder throughout your Friday. Now, uh, winds, again, look at those wind gusts out there continuing to stay strong throughout the day today. They only die back a little bit tonight. It's still going to remain fairly blustery overnight tonight and right into tomorrow. Not as windy, but still noticeable winds making it feel that much colder out there. They'll start to calm back Friday night. Along with that, temperatures are going to be cold, as we said here. Uh, tonight, there are freeze warnings in place for areas that haven't seen that freeze, that true freeze yet. For northern Kansas, southeast Nebraska, for uh, late tonight, early tomorrow morning, hard freeze warnings off towards the southwest. I'll also mention most of eastern Nebraska is under a wind advisory, even though some of those areas are covered up. That said, again, I've talked about this in previous days with previous updates. Other offices of the National Weather Service do not, no, they no longer put out wind advisories. It'll be just as windy across the rest of the state out there through the day and even into tonight, still fairly blustery. Next seven days, it's an up and down roller coaster. Again, falling temperatures later today. We're down in the mid-20s tonight. A high only in the lower 40s on your Friday will feel colder because of those strong winds. And then as winds die back for Friday night with mostly clear skies, we're down into the lower 20s, some places upper teens. We start to recover on Saturday. We get into the low and mid-50s for highs. It won't be as windy, so it's a better Saturday compared to Friday. Saturday night, not quite as cold, a low around 30. Sunday will be the nicest day of the next seven, although a little on the breezy side. It's going to help those temperatures push into the 60s, a few clouds especially towards the end of the day as another cold front approaches. This one coming in out of the north again. We'll see falling temperatures. Maybe sneaking in a few light snow showers or light rain. Not expecting much precipitation, though. It's only a 20% chance after midnight Sunday night, very, very early on Monday morning. Monday, a high only in the upper 40s, but it will be fairly blustery again. Winds don't stay strong on Halloween. That's the good news. It does look like winds will be dying back on Halloween Tuesday, but temperatures will struggle. We're probably looking at highs in the upper 40s. Could maybe sneak near 50 degrees, so not a pleasant Halloween by any means, although at least the winds won't be too bad. And then another little surge in temperatures as we get towards Wednesday, back to around 60 degrees. And we'll wrap things up, up looking at your forecast real quick because I'm running out of time. Here's that Purdue, Nebraska forecast for West Lafayette, Indiana. Cold, chilly, I guess, but not terribly bad. I don't think the wind will be a big player in that forecast for that evening game in West Lafayette, Indiana. So there you go. There is your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all enjoy your Thursday and don't get blown away. God bless.